Will I be able to learn tango? What will it be like to study tango in Buenos Aires? What will it feel like and how will it be different than other dances I've studied? So I'm ready to start my classes and I have to admit as a beginner tango student in Buenos Aires I am a little overwhelmed. There are so many schools and amazing dancers here. So what I've realized is I needed one place to kind of call home where I could get started with my studies and that place is DNI Tango in Palermo. It attracts students from all over the world who are drawn to the school for its warm and friendly environment and its unique approach to teaching tango technique. It actually reminds me a little bit of Casa del Son, where I studied dance in Havana in season one. So I've been feeling right at home, but I'm nervous because I'm a beginner again. Eh, cuando la conocí a Melissa, sabía que tenía muchas energías y ganas de bailar. Eh, se sentía que tenía un cuerpo trabajado, un cuerpo con baile. Eso es muy importante, las ganas, que sabe cuando hay una dirección, dónde es adelante. Esa era la ventaja que tiene Melissa en ese sentido. So, the private classes are in a big classroom with a bunch of other students. So, I have a few more minutes. I decided that I'm going to wear my heels. I feel like I'll get the feeling of tango a little bit better. Las debilidades yo creo que fueron más la ansiedad que tenía por lograr un objetivo muy rápido. Porque quería ya, quería ya y que no lo sentía en su cuerpo. Y como no lo sentí este, venía frustrada a mí y teníamos estas charlas de que no, no se trata de, de que te va a salir en un momento, es práctica. Me siento totalmente overwhelmed. Es demasiado para mi cuerpo para aprender. Me siento como el opposite de salsa. And it's like everything is like toes do this, heels do this, knees, hips, chest, push, pull, stretch, flex. Oh, so hard. Nosotros trabajamos a con una intensidad donde por momentos somos los malvados de la película porque en tango trabajamos mucho no solamente con el movimiento sino la calidad de movimiento es crear líneas en el cuerpo conexiones internas todo lo que es el abrazo la conexión y nuestro baile uh, I'm just having a really hard time um, really overwhelmed by what my body has to learn I'm feeling really confused all the time <laughs> the honest reaction is that I hate it and I'm really frustrated. <laughs> the grown up in me knows that these things take time, that my body probably is integrating a little bit every day. Um, and I will get somewhere. But right now I just feel like it's gonna be a miracle if I can get anywhere with this. Llega un momento donde encuentran la frustración. Buenas. Estamos acá. Donde algo sencillo, donde que se cree que es fácil y no sale, ese es el proceso donde empieza realmente el trabajo. Y cuando hay personas cuando llegan a ese nivel de frustración optan por abandonar o las personas que superan esa frustración y llegan al siguiente paso. La frustración es importante porque la frustración es el puente al siguiente paso. First you lift the foot and now you slide again but over this side. Chuck, mm -hmm. turn. Okay. That's more sexy. <laughs> <laughs> We work a lot with the woman's aspect of the dance. We were talking like more the legs step with force and, and another thing in the embrace more, hmm, I'm there. And that was very good in the lesson. So just finished class. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm kind of scared to even say it because I don't want to jinx myself. But I think I may be making progress. Mm -hmm. 
when I focus a bit more on the connection with my partner and like relaxing, but also being very intentional about being close with this person and being connected, it really is a lot easier to follow. Like things just happen. It's kind of magical, actually. So I'm at the DNI Practica tonight. And the practica is just what it sounds like. It's an opportunity to practice. So tango students from DNI and actually students from all over the city come once a week to get to dance with each other. So it's a really good opportunity to see if anything I'm doing is sinking in and if I can actually dance with strangers. Um, it's a little nerve wracking. It's still a little intimidating, but I've been building up my confidence more with my classes. So I'm gonna see how it goes. Ahora siento el tango de Melissa mucho más, más integrado. Se siente que el, el baile fluye más. Bailar cualquier danza es hermoso. Y aprender y escuchar sin pensar en responder eh, cambia la vida a todas las personas. Escuchar. El tango es escuchar. Y la vida también. The DNI practica is winding down, and I have to admit, I actually had a pretty good time. I think I finally cleared that hurdle as a student of all of that frustration and anger and being so hard on myself. And now I'm just a little more relaxed, and I'm actually having moments of fun, which feels really good. And I danced with a lot of different people tonight, and it was fun, it was good. But there's still more challenges. So the next big challenge for me is to explore the milonga scene of Buenos Aires.